It's Wednesday Day today, and this is the day when Audi has new deals. I wouldn't even be interested in these Audi deals, but they have this aisle that's called like limited edition aisle. Oh yeah, it's just random stuff. It wasn't even fun being in this limited edition aisle because one sign said something like, here today, gone tomorrow. And then another said limited time. So it just gave the vibe of like, Get everything because it's all going away. And there's other people in the aisle, so it's kind of just a competition and drama. That's a special edition one. It looks much different. Look at the back. So yeah, I don't want to use that one. I ended up letting Jacob use it because he explained to me that you get the quarterback. <laughs> I declared because that went so close, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> it's just like I'm in the olden days. I ended up getting one of the, like, what do you even call them? Catalog? Yeah, the catalog, and I looked through it, and I picked a few items that I decided I was gonna buy today. Okay, that's good. <laughs> the first thing we got was this boxy organizer with tray. Me and Lucas drive together frequently, and I was like, wait, but what if I wanna like, work on my Wiki feet profile. Oh yeah, it's just sort of like, you spend so much time in the car in modern day, it's like, turn your car into an office. This is meant for the back seat, so let's go in here. Okay, that's easy. I don't even have to read the instructions, I just know how to do it. And there's some pockets down here for like, some Teddy Grahams and Maybe like a corn dog in this one. Well, they actually thought through everything. So we have my computer. We have my. Are you... Oh wait. Oh, you have to adjust the straps. Oh. It's adjustable. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I was actually about to like. Who even owns Audi? I don't know. But I was about to yell at them. And then I have my iPad that um, I can't even use because I legit forgot the password. And you can't even go to the Apple Store and unlock it. Well, it's Lucas's old. I don't even know. But I should probably do that someday. I don't even use an iPad. It just is like. I'm all about like consumerism, capitalism, so <laughs> I buy a bunch of shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I also bought an energy drink because I had a bunch of packets. And then obviously I'm not gonna hold my phone. So I put it in here. So are these like touch though? Yeah, can you? Oh. That is cool. Oh. Like is it at the right height for typing or does it feel uncomfortable? Uh, no, it actually feels like I'm just at like a table at a coffee shop. I love that. Okay, let's start driving and I'm just gonna walk on like my out that I saw on eBay. We're driving 20 miles an hour right now and nothing's shaking so far. I mean, it definitely isn't like fully stable, but what do you expect? We're driving in a moving vehicle. It is cool how it doubles as a, as a table because then I can like put shit on it. Oh my fucking God. Oh. That wasn't even a joke. Wait, do you do that? Like, were you purposely driving annoying or no? I just sped up annoying me like I always do. This is meant to be B-roll by the way, okay? So like, you can start talking, Lucas. Oh, I can start being myself again? Yeah. Okay. I actually asked Jacob if I could borrow this. Or actually have it. You're gonna use it for when you eat in the car, right? Yeah, because like, everyone knows how stressful it is to eat fast food in a car. But with this, I'll have a table. So I can have all my little sauces set up, everything. I'm so excited. I don't have a kid, and I don't even know what it's like changing a diaper, but could he use this as a diaper <laughs> changing station? I don't know, it's like, unless your kid is like the size of a beanie baby. <laughs> <laughs> so it is really easy to put away. Um, you don't even need to put it in the box because why would you, you know? Not even one single person has asked me to do this, but I'm going to include it in the video. Would you sell your soul for this product? I wouldn't sell my soul for this product because I, I, it's cool. I definitely think it's cool, but it's not needed in my daily life. I maybe would sell my soul for it just because of the fast food. Having sauces out on a road trip and not being stressed. That might be worth selling your soul for. Now we have something pretty simple. Keto buns. This was actually on the newsletter thing. Yes, it was opened because everyone fingered it at this Audi because they were interested in it. And mm -hmm. that's fine. I'm fine, you know? I was very intrigued by this. Like, keto bread? I thought they weren't allowed to eat bread. So I immediately looked at the nutrition and this is what's up. So this has 21 grams of cows. Which is similar to non-keto buns. We were both thinking, wait, what? 
it has 20 grams of dietary fiber, which is 71% of your dietary fiber. So you can make anything keto, you just add a bunch of Metamucil to it. Metamucil somehow creates a bread texture? I don't even understand. Net bread. carbs. You add fiber and it cancels out carbs. That's what happens. Oh, okay. I just know that when you have this fake fiber, you're having diarrhea. Mm. Have you ever had one of those fiber ones, um, granola bars? Um, like, remember yeah. those were big like 10 years ago? They actually taste they make, good. They make your stomach hurt so bad though, at least me. Oh, I'm not kidding, it tastes bad. I don't know if I'm just making it up, because like I never eat it. It doesn't bread. have as much flavor. It's not bad though. It has the same texture as bread. But there's, see that weird smell? That's what I was tasting. Mmm. You know, it's like this weird, something's added. Oh, it tastes like you're eating. I'm just grossed out right now. What is it? It tastes like you're eating paper or something. Oh. Should we give it to Luna so she shits everywhere? Oh no, she would actually explode. And as I eat it, it has a gummy texture, and I'm not joking. Yes! You can tell they added Metamucil powder. I wouldn't sell my soul for that, obviously. Oh, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy. <laughs> Lucas saw this and he didn't say let's get it, but I could just tell in the back of his mind, he was like, please, please buy it. <laughs> he can tell it. This? He was just trying to eat it. <laughs> it isn't food. Why is she so hungry, girl? I just fed you lunch. This is a nerd's grape bath bomb. Um, I know that the target audience is, it literally says three plus. Like it's for kids who are like, oh my God, nerds. It just sounds so gross, like being in sugar water. Like I know that's not what it is. Like it sounds like, ugh. Yeah, it grosses me out because it's like a bath is supposed to be clean, but now you're turning it into like. like a Laffy Taffy tub. <laughs> yeah. It's the same vibe as like these Lush products to me. Lush has like chocolate chip cleanser and it's like, Wait, why do you want your cleanser to smell like chocolate chips? I don't understand. I know. I, we all know that's going to be a viral tweet where they'll say, remember um, in 2014 we all rubbed um, mint chocolate on our face and, <laughs> and thought we were getting rid of our acne? <laughs> anyway, let's try this out. We're going to be putting it in the sink because I don't want to go in a bathtub on camera for many reasons. Please don't ask. La, 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 la. It's done, Uncle John. So nice. It smells like Nords. Wait. Oh dang, that smells horrid. You don't like it? Nah. I've used probably six bath bombs in my life. This is a lamp, by the way. None of them have ever bubbled, I'm pretty sure. Wait, the lush ones do. Well, Did you get some Amazon ones? I, I it's just not like the grocery store. Three, two, one. Okay. Um, go to my Patreon for the rest of the footage. JK, I'll just show it right now. Yeah. Are you jokey? <laughs> <laughs> me it's lasting a little too long. <laughs> Wait, it has a chain in it? Oh! oh I a secret item! I only saw that! Surprise inside! Your first chain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! It's the Nord's mascot. Show that up close. <gasps> Wait, there's a Nord's mascot? I mean, this is like the guy who's always in like in like the logos and shit. Isn't this all you bought a lot of money is the thing? I know, you could sell it on eBay. Now it's like really dark purple. There's still a little bit left. It looks like a planet that died. Do a sniff test. Uh, and just see if you think- Have Luna smell. Does she lick it? No. Oh, she was grossed out. I know. You don't want to sniff it? Mm. I wouldn't sell my soul because I don't really care about my body smelling like Nords. And I and yes, it fizzes, but so does carbonated jeans. I wouldn't sell my soul for it. Now we got size nine women's rain boots. I don't even know what size I am in women's um shoes. This is fourteen dollars. I'm pretty sure. That's good for a pair of shoes. It smells like um. Payless. Oh my gosh, like that brought me back. The Payless smell. Payless was truly one of the best things this world had to offer. You walk in, you look at a few shoes that pique your interest. Once you pick a pair, one of the employees comes up to you, brings out that little foot measure thing, and you put your foot in it, and they bring you a shoe, and they watch you try it on. And then you buy the shoe, and the person that helped you pick the shoe truly looks satisfied that they helped you. 
Wayne Boots. Wayne Boots. back. Oh, there's such big dick energy in there. Um, I don't need Wayne Boots. I don't live in Seattle, but... Oh, don't, don't drink an energy <laughs> drink. someone's going to be like watching this like, what the fuck is she doing? Don't drink an energy drink. So yeah, I don't need Wayne Boots, but one time my sister came over and I was like, those Wayne Boots are fucking cool. Let's do it. Lucas was just on his Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak shit, so um, he came up with a genius idea. So I'm going to wrap my feet in paper towels, go in the shower, and we're going to see if these actually work, because if the paper towels are even a little bit wet, they don't fucking work. It's all a fucking scam. Not trying to start a movement, but they didn't have men's rain boots. Not to start a movement, but... I didn't think Rain Boots had a gender. Just by the looks alone, I love it. The inside is so comfy. They actually fit me, guys. So, are men and women the same? I'm a 9.5 9 in men's. And these are a 9 in women's and they fit me. So... They're a vibe! Patrick, how if you're watching? What else can I do? Like, what else would Tadrick want me to do for that edition? Splits? Yeah. You almost can. Now we're gonna spray a bunch of water on the shoes and see if it gets inside. <laughs> can you imagine if it was raining this hard? <laughs> I know. I mean, why are we even doing this? Obviously, it's not gonna get inside. This is so dumb, Lucas. <laughs> But it might if they're shitty. Jacob, you might want to cut this part out because your bath towel has a poop stain on it. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Even the fact you believed it. <laughs> okay. The big moment. Why is it a little bit what? Is it from your sweat? Yeah, and it's also from waddle when I was taking them off, you know? Oh yeah. But for the most part, your feet felt dry inside them? Yeah. Wow. They passed. Yeah. Thanks for the money. I'm out. This wasn't shown on camera, but when Lucas is trying to take off the boots, you have to like, sometimes you even have to have someone else pull them. I know. Off. They're made of, yeah, this weird like seal skin material. <laughs> Well, but you get to touch. I know, it gets stuck to your feet. This might be the first item I would sell my soul for, but just because they look so cool. I don't think I've ever owned a pair of rain boots, so I might as well own one, you know? Do you say you'd sell your soul for that? Yeah. Oh. The next product was on the catalog, and we were both like, this is $2.99, obviously we're getting it. A funnel, cake, pitcher, and mix. This is actually the first thing we picked out, because we were like, a funnel cake maker? Are you kidding? And it says... For two dollars, it makes eight to ten cakes. Oh my gosh! I mean, if I'm good at it, I might work at the circus. I'm excited. <laughs> Bringing the carnival to your house. This comes with funnel cake mix. Well, this is already stressful. So stressful! I'm so stressed right now. It kind of just smells like pancake batter, so I don't really know what the difference is, but... Wait, isn't it low-key the same as pancake batter? When you really think about it, it's like a deep fat fried pancake. Can I touch in there? Yeah. I know everyone wishes they could do this, so I'm gonna do it for y'all. Mmm, tastes good. Mmm, it's not that good. It says to use vegetable oil, so we also picked up some vegetable oil. Right? Yeah, that's enough. One more little drop. No, that's enough. We have to put the funnel cake bottle back into this to make it look like a funnel cake, which is actually kind of inconvenient, to be completely honest. Very stressful. <laughs> is it's, it gonna come out? It's so thick, so it takes a while to get to the tube, you know? This butter walk. I paid two dollars for this. Oh, it's starting to come out. Oh, deep fat fry, honey! I'm gonna deep fat fry food more often. <laughs> okay, that's enough, right? One um, little circle. Yeah, that's good. It smells like we're accountable right now. Okay, this actually, holy shit, like, I wanna do this more often. This is cool. I feel like I'm living, like, in my fantasy world. Let me turn it off now. Oh my gosh, <laughs> please. 
Yeah, I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die, please. Okay, this is our cooking for today, but you know this is a perfect amount of touch. Okay, that looks touch. so good. I'm not even kidding. Why would I be? <laughs> so should we add something to it? Because usually you add something, but... I don't know if I have anything sweet. I think I have, um, I have syrup. Oh. A little bit yeah, we don't have any powdered sugar, but we do have syrup. Oh, oh my god. It smells so good. It smells like, Ooh. remember fried donuts? <gasps> yeah, our mom used to make those and like, that's what it smells like. It does have the same texture as a funnel cake. Because do it. It tastes it, like a funnel cake! It's literally so good. I'm wild that it tastes like a funnel cake. I was, I was kind of expecting it to be like half bland, but it's not. Holy shit. I love it. I'm gonna it. have that. Oh, thank you. And like, it was kind of fun to make. I know I just videotaped it, but like, it just was kind of fun, like deep fat frying. I feel like a butter mechanism would be putting it in a Ziploc bag and cutting the corner. Oh, yeah, for sure. Then using that thing they give you. I have been changed for good. I would sell my soul for a fun... No, I'm not going to sell my soul for that product because that, that mechanism that they give you from my experience isn't good. But I would sell my soul for like... Just funnel cake mix. Yeah, I guess now that you bring up the actual product, yeah, just get funnel cake mix from Walmart. Don't buy the little gimmick, the little pitcher thing. It actually just made stuff more stressful. But would you sell your soul just for funnel cake mix? That's 99 cents. Yeah. Yes. The next thing we got is, I don't even know, oh, they, they call it a stainless steel hydration bottle, but they, they did a copycat Yeti, which me and Lucas both have. Chaperones and limousines, all those things don't mean a thing to me. It was like $200 for this, I think? Yeah, mom was like 1200 They have the same exact <laughs> lids. No, they actually don't. The best part of having a Yeti <gasps> is a little true. sip. You have a sip lid. Yetis have two lids. I know, then you can actually... pull it off for a wide mouth lid. And also, another con, Yetis are dishwasher safe, which is so convenient. Like, who wants to hand wash something? That thing says hand wash only. Are you joking? That oh. ruins it. Just to show how much they copied Yeti, even the bottom of this is kind of similar. Like, they both have a dimple. I mean, it feels a little bit less, like, heavy, but, like, it's not bad. This was $9.99, and... Uh, yeah, obviously we were joking. Mine was like $40. It was probably 42 right? Yeah, 50. something like that. Of course, it's also BPA free. Which yeah, like... what even is BPA? Okay. Cold and hot retention. Cold ass water in here and check back and see if it's still cold. Put my finger in it so I know how cold it is. That's cold as a... Uh... Oh, that is cold. Put the cap on. Now we're gonna fill up my actual Yeti with um, the same exact concoction. We're gonna set the water bottles right over here. Don't even try to say the sun's facing one, the other, like one more. They're both equal. I mean, no one was fighting me, so I was just fighting myself, but yeah. It's two hours later and the test is going to begin. Both of the ice is still together. Now I'm gonna poke my dirty finger that I just fingered myself with. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, it's colder than before. This is the dumbest test ever. Yeah, this is insulated for sure. They're exactly the same? Feel it. Yep, exact same amount of coldness. It's official. Yeti overprices their shit. You can kind of attest to this too, Lucas. Like, didn't you know all along that, like, it's the same with if I had a Chanel jacket. I do know, like, it's the same as getting a jacket from Uniqlo or something. But, oh, like, yeah. But I just wanted it, I guess. Because I'm a consumer and I love consuming shit and wasting money. But does it taste good? <laughs> oh, that's actually fucking disgusting. I'm just joking. I'll awesome, admit I pooped in it. You did? <laughs> I thought it was in your poop. <laughs> I'm joking. I would not sell my soul just because 
I wouldn't even sell my soul for a Yeti. That's what I was just gonna say. I'm not gonna sell my soul because I could just drink out of a glass water bottle, but chances are it's the exact same thing as a Yeti, if we're being completely honest. Yeah, if we're keeping it for real. Now we have the iconic kinetic sand. When I was little, there was always those commercials. I don't really like watch actual TV as much anymore, but there was always commercials showing a product. And it wasn't like as seen on TV. It was more of just like, call this number and buy oh, this product. Yeah. This was the one of the few products that our mom actually got me and my me, she called me the and number? our little brother. Yeah, and it got, it got delivered to our house. And I, I remember just being like, this is so cool. I saw it on TV, now I actually have it. I don't know if this was around in my childhood because I don't really, I don't have any memory of this. I don't even really know what it does, if I'm being honest. Like, is it magnetic or something? You can just mold it into anything. You don't and need it holds any the shape. Yeah. That's actually cool. So I did some research and I don't even think I was talking about kinetic sand because kinetic sand was invented in 2014 and that was when I was about 13 years old. And I remember our mom buying this sand off the TV when I was like really young. So I think I'm getting it mistaken with like moon sand or magic sand. But they're all like basically the same thing. We were gonna play with kinetic sand outside, but then there was a spider and like oh, yeah. there was a tick on, on me. Him. Don't ever go outside, guys. Know, like, Stay we were, inside. We were out there for 30 seconds and there was a tick on Jacob when we saw a tarantula. Okay. Also, it's kind of like play doh in a way. That's true. I actually get it because it's like cool. It's sand, but like it also feel like you can. You know what I mean? It's like permanently wet oh, sand. Wait, it looks kind of. It looks like oh, magic, actually. Actually, it's so satisfying. It sort of feels like you're playing with that stuff that's like cushions. <laughs> What's that? You know like that's what I'm saying, cushions? It's just like, that stuff? I don't know, I feel like I'm like touching like, like another species. I know, it actually feels like, I feel like it's like gonna hurt me or something. I <laughs> know, I feel like it's alive. <laughs> human skin touches it, I think it becomes more soft or something. That's why it's so fun to play with. Oh, really? I don't know if that's true, but... Because it was all hardened fun. in the package. Yeah, now it's all soft and gooey. It's funky. I think I would sell my soul for kinetic sand. Not for that amount. If I'm selling my soul, I want a house built out of kinetic sand. Yeah, it's one of those things that just every human finds it satisfying. It's sort of like Orbeez. I want to see someone fill up a bathtub full of kinetic sand. I'm sure it's on YouTube and I'm going to watch it after this. Oh, that sounds so good. I know. Welp, that's all we got. And um, I'm going to say they do sell some random shit for a grocery store. Like, yeah. even more than like Walmart randomly. You have to say I stan Aldi. <laughs> you can subscribe to both of us, but yeah. Um... Get your yearly checkup, please. Goodbye. Bye.